Hello and welcome back to the channel. Um, here's another video. I guess you guys seem to have liked hearing me talk about some roles I didn't get, so I figured I'd make another video with some more. Anyways, let's just get right into it. Starting off strong at number one, we have One Piece. Yes, the Netflix adaptation of one of the biggest anime mangas of all time. Now, this obviously wasn't the first anime adaptation I've auditioned for, but, you know, however, out of all of the anime adaptations, this one was probably the one that I messed up the most. See, me being me, I didn't watch or read any One Piece beforehand. I know, I know, I'm an idiot, but... so. I didn't really have any idea on how to play the character. Uh, I was sent two scenes for the role of Roronoa Zoro, which ended up going to Makenyu Maeda, who, funny enough, I met a long time ago, uh, back in high school. Anyways, he plays a very cool and collected, calm kind of tough guy with a soft heart. Uh, not at all what I did. I was doing this over-the-top anime character who was full of himself and a little unhinged. Um... And the worst part of all is I actually thought I had a shot at it. I I don't know what I was thinking. Um, I finally got around to watching the show, and it's okay. I'm not crazy about it, but it looks like it would have been a good time making it, and I think it has a season two coming. So, yeah, would have been good. No Hard Feelings with Jennifer Lawrence. It's a movie about this chick who agrees to date this rich family son and trade for a car. Um, and they end up falling in love and changing each other for the better. Yada, yada, yada. Anyways, it's a nice, funny little coming-of-age movie. And I auditioned for the main part of Percy, uh, who they ended casting Andrew Barth Feldman, uh, who did a great job, I must admit. I don't think I had a chance at this one, really. Um, he's a great singer. And he can play piano. I mean, I play piano, but not that good. Um, and I can't sing. But I also don't think it would have made sense for me to be in that movie. I just don't think we look anything alike or play the same kind of characters. But um, I do like comedy movies, and that one was pretty funny. And I did like that movie. And I did miss out on the chance to suck face with Jennifer Lawrence, which kind of sucks. But, hey, better luck next time. Now, this was a pretty big one. This is actually one I liked. Um, it was the Hunger Games Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes, which is a prequel to the Hunger Games book series and takes place when President Snow was young. Uh, there's a whole new cast. It was Rachel Zeigler, Tom Blythe, Hunter Schaefer. I went for a small part, um, I think called Felix Raven still. Um, I don't really remember, honestly. Uh, I haven't seen the movie. I've seen half of it, so I haven't really finished it, so... I don't really know how big of a role I missed out on, or if he like dies or is barely in it, but it made a lot of money at the box office and will probably be a decent project to work on. And I don't know. I always thought the Hunger Games were kind of a cool series. Um, maybe we'll make more. Maybe I'll have another chance. You never know. I auditioned for the role of Harvey Kinkle in the Chilling Adventures of Sabrina back in the day. I think it was like 2017, 2018. Um, this show was created, I believe, by the same person who did Riverdale, um, which I also auditioned for. Uh, knowing that, part of me did want to get this because I knew how well Riverdale had done and thought that this show might end up doing the same. And in the end, it ended up doing four seasons, which would have been a pretty good run. But seeing as they casted Ross Lynch for the part, I don't think I was what they had in mind. Uh, when it comes to the nice, friendly-looking kind of boy-next-door roles, I don't usually have a chance. Um, I haven't really watched the show, though, to be honest. But I'm sure he did a good job in the part, you know? And I'm sure it would have been a decent role to get. This one is brand new, actually. Um, it's Lisa Frankenstein, which was the newest movie written by Diablo Cody, who also wrote Jennifer's Body. Um, and it's somewhat similar. Um, it's about a girl who becomes friends with the resurrected corpse played by Cole Sprouse. Um, I didn't audition for the Frankenstein kind of character. I auditioned for Michael, who is this kind of like edgy, cool bad boy guy in school um, who's into like reading and photography. Yeah, I'll admit I thought I could do this one. Um, I put on my leather jacket and everything for the audition to be to be the cool guy greaser, but ended up going to someone else, someone who looks a little bit more, I guess, 80s in a way. I don't know if I looked 80s because um, it takes place 
I think in the 80s. Anyways, it would have been a fun little project to do. I do like Diablo Cody, I have to admit. And I think it was directed by Robin Williams' daughter, Zelda. Um, I think it was her first movie. I'm not entirely sure. However, I watched it. It was okay. Um, I think the script was better. But either way, it would have been a fun project to be a part of. I think this is probably the only or one of the only Oscar-winning movies on my list. Um, It's Darren Aronofsky's The Whale. Uh, No, I didn't audition for The Whale. Um, If you watch the movie, there's a young, like, Jehovah's Witness character that comes around in a couple scenes. um, And that's who I auditioned for. I knew when I was auditioning that this was going to be a big deal, since it was Aronofsky. And I can't lie. I did want this one. I don't know. I don't think I had a shot at it, though. Um, I kind of sent the audition tape in and then never heard back, so probably not. Maybe I was too emo goth looking to be a Jehovah Witness. Who knows? Uh, would have been nice, though, to be in a movie like this, mainly because I actually liked it, but also to have gotten to work with a true king, Brendan Fraser, and also Aronofsky it would look good on the resume, but, you know, it is what it is. There's always next time. Here's another anime manga adaptation I didn't get, uh, Alita Battle Angel. Um, I remember really wanting this one because it was a cool anime, and I really wanted to work with Robert Rodriguez, who was directing it, and I'm a big fan. Um, I read for the part of Hugo and thought I did a decent job, but then again, uh, who knows, honestly. Also, this movie was the one that I think people were talking about because of the giant CGI eyes that were creeping people out. Um, If I'm being honest, I think the movie was okay. I don't really remember it that much. Um, I don't really hear people talking about this movie anymore, Um, but I still would have liked getting the part. I think people liked it. I don't know. Would have been fun. Deadly Class was a show that had a one season run back in 2019 on the Sci Fi Channel. Um, and it was based on a comic book series of the same name about a school teaching kids how to be assassins or, or killers or something. Anyways, I auditioned for the role of Billy Bennett, who was this punk rock kind of character. Um, I did have a feeling that I could have gotten this one. But at the same time, I wasn't shocked when it didn't happen. However, the show ended up only doing one season. And despite it actually being pretty good and cool, I think it's kind of a shame, to be honest. I think they could have done something great with it, or it could have gone to cool areas in the comic book. But you know what? Um, I would have liked to have done it, let's be honest. I like playing punk rock and like emo and goth characters. Um, and this one would have been fun to do. Now, this was the first reboot of Jumanji. I know they made a couple, but um, this was the first one, and I auditioned for the part of Spencer, who's one of the kids who gets sucked into the game at the beginning, I think. Uh, The part went to Alex Wolf, who I think is a good actor. You know, we often end up auditioning for the same or similar parts, and he usually ends up getting them. But seeing as how the character in the movie is really only seen in the beginning and then a little bit at the end, I don't really feel like I missed out that much. Um, I do love the original Jumanji, and I did think this one was pretty good too, so it would have been a good project to be a part of, but you know. I remember this being one of the very first castings I ever did for TV. Um, This was all the way back in like 2015, and they had planned on making it a movie. Now I'm talking about uh, Looking for Alaska, and I auditioned for the role of Takumi back then, um, and I thought I had a good chance of getting it seeing as how I'm part Japanese. Um, And I may have been a little young, but I never heard back, and I never saw the show came out either. And then like four years later, I get an audition for Looking for Alaska again for the same role Takumi, except this time it was going to be a TV show, not a movie. And still didn't get it. But I don't know. I don't think... I didn't watch the show. I think it was okay. I don't think it was as big as like, obviously, Fallen Our Stars or even Paper Towns. But... Um, I think it was decent. I mean, Charlie Plummer was in it, and I like Charlie Plummer. Um, But yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I missed out, because I didn't really see it. But yeah. Anyways, that was another 10 roles I auditioned for, but didn't end up getting. Um, I don't know. I think there were some good ones in this one. I still have a bunch more, and I'm still auditioning for some, so there will always be more added to the list. But let me know if you want to hear about the other ones um, in the comments below. And remember to like comment and subscribe to the channel and i'll see you guys next time adios